If you haven't checked out Peacock, the NBC Universal streaming service, for a while, you might not be aware of some of the recent changes it's made. Yeah, enough is different that it's time for an updated Peacock TV review video. We'll start with what's new, including a Hallmark Hub on Peacock and a new ability to live stream your local NBC station. Then we'll cover Peacock TV plans and pricing, features, and show you what it's like to use the Peacock TV app. Let's start with what's new. The biggest change is that Peacock TV Premium Plus subscribers can now stream their local NBC channel live 24-7. This is good news for cord cutters who can't or don't want to use an antenna for their locals because it lets you stream NBC without cable. Another change was NBC adding a Hallmark Hub to Peacock TV. There are on-demand titles as well as live streams of Hallmark Channel, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, and Hallmark Drama. You can watch new Hallmark original series and film releases live on the channel as they air or on demand the next day. However, new original film releases will only be available to stream on demand for 72 hours. Peacock's decision to bring local NBC affiliates to its app isn't just a way to stream NBC without cable. It makes the service more competitive with Paramount Plus, which also allows subscribers to its higher tier plan to live stream their local CBS station. This could be a move to raise subscriber numbers. As reported in The Verge, as of October, Peacock had 30 million active accounts and more than 15 million paying subscribers. Most of those are on the premium plan, and NBC would like to bump them up to their highest tier, since it costs twice as much. While popular shows like Yellowstone and live sports, including Sunday Night Football, Premier League, the World Cup, and WWE are already included in premium, getting access to your live local NBC feed could motivate some people to bump up to the highest tier. There have also been rumors that NBC could be cutting their last hour of primetime broadcast TV and putting it on their app. As the Wall Street Journal reported, the move comes amidst a need to cut costs. If NBC goes through with the decision, it could stop programming the 10 p.m. Eastern Time Hour, giving that time back to local affiliates to fill. It would then most likely move more of its original TV development toward Peacock, and it could cause The Tonight Show to run earlier than its current 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time slots. This complements other shifts by the streamer to move next day streaming of NBC shows from Hulu to Peacock and bringing some Big Ten games to the app. Any moves likely wouldn't happen until the fall of 2023. If the move happens, NBC could decide to put its most expensive shows on NBC and reserve more niche programming for its streaming service in the form of Peacock Originals. It's something that we'll be watching for sure. Now let's quickly cover Peacock plans and pricing, features, and wrap up with what it's like to use the app. Peacock has three plans. Peacock, which is free, Peacock Premium, which costs $4.99 a month or $49.99 a year, and Peacock Premium Plus for $9.99 a month or $99.99 a year at time of filming. NBC says you can get about two-thirds of its content free. The other third requires a paid plan. However, if you love NBC content, you'll likely find the content in the free tier unsatisfying. It's designed to get you using the app and turn you into a paying customer. Every plan includes access to thousands of hours of free TV shows and movies, exclusive content that's only on Peacock, plus news and sports. There's also a good bit of content for kids, as well as Spanish language content from Telemundo. Peacock Premium includes all of that, plus live sports from the Premier Soccer League, Sunday Night Football, WWE, Days of Our Lives, exclusive original series, next day access to current NBC hits, and more movies and TV shows. You'll also enjoy full access to all of Peacock's movies and TV shows for kids, and this is significant because it includes everything DreamWorks has made for kids and a lot of great content. Peacock Premium Plus gets you all that, plus your local NBC channel live feed. And you can download shows to watch offline and watch on-demand content without ads on Peacock. There will still be ads in your local NBC feed, though. Now let's review some of the features included with Peacock. Peacock allows you to have six profiles on your account. Parental controls are supported, and kids' profiles can be set up and protected with a pin. Content can be filtered for kids and young kids. You can stream on three screens at once, and while there's no DVR, you can create a watch list for on-demand items, as well as some live events. Those items go into your My Stuff tab, making it easy to watch later. Audio description and closed captioning are supported, and you can customize subtitles to change how they appear and make them easier to read. And Peacock does offer certain content in 4K Ultra High Definition for Premium and Premium Plus subscribers. That content is marked with a 4K UHD badge in the information section of the title. 
you do need a 4K compatible device to watch it. Premium Plus subscribers can download select titles to watch offline and can have up to 25 downloaded titles across all devices at any point in time. Peacock also supports casting from a mobile device to a compatible TV set. Now there's no way to skip ads on Peacock. However, a Premium or Premium Plus subscription will limit the ads in shows and movies on Peacock. Now we talk more about how bad the ads are in Peacock in our earlier review of the service, so watch that for more details. But suffice it to say that they run about four to five minutes of ads per hour. Now let's dive into the Peacock app and what it's like to use it. When you launch Peacock, you'll see eight navigation tabs across the top on a computer or along the left side on a TV with a search function and your profile icon on the far right. When you're logged into a computer, clicking your icon will let you access your account settings. There you can view plans and payment information, settings, and devices. Within settings, you can set a PIN for parental controls, adjust subtitles, manage your email preferences, and more. The default view is to browse. As you scroll down, you'll see rows upon rows of content to explore, including Peacock Picks, Live, and Trending. Clicking right reveals more shows and movies. Clicking on any title brings up the option to add it to your stuff and watch it. Scrolling down further towards the bottom brings up a row of featured brands like NBC, Bravo, and Hallmark that you can use to filter content. Clicking on any show that's not live brings up options to add it to your stuff, watch episodes, view extras, and explore related titles. Some shows, like Yellowstone, will also have Rotten Tomatoes scores on them. By the way, if you're looking for how to watch Yellowstone without cable, you'll see that Peacock has seasons one through four. You can watch our video to see how to stream the newest season. Another way to view content is with the Channels tab. When you click that option, you'll see a small grid about two-thirds of the way down the screen. Peacock has a little over 50 channels of what they call Always On TV. If you subscribe to Peacock Premium Plus, your local NBC channel will populate at the top of the guide here in the channels view. Peacock does have some channels of truly live TV in its premium tier, including the Hallmark Channel and Hallmark Drama, but most of these channels are just curated streams of live content similar to what Pluto or Tubi would have. The remaining tabs across the top filter content on the homepage according to those categories. So, featured changes, items shown in rows on the home screen to Peacock Picks, live, sports, and trending content. Movies, TV shows, and sports function similarly. Rows of content categories populate to make it easier for you to find what you want to watch. And there are handy genre rows as well. The WWE tab is worth looking at because it's a hub with a more built-out section than the other tabs. You can filter content by Raw, SmackDown, NXT, WCW, and more. And Peacock has built a similar hub for Hallmark movies. These hubs are a convenient way to explore movies and shows related to one specific topic, and a nice feature of Peacock's user interface. We do believe they have room to improve on the channel's view, especially since this is where your live NBC feed will live for Premium Plus subscribers. They need to make it more like an actual grid guide. The final item to look at is My Stuff and then Kids Profiles quickly. While there won't be any recordings in My Stuff, it will have items you've bookmarked. The more you go in and add titles, the easier it will be for you to go straight to what you want to watch rather than browsing through the homepage. NBC does have a nice section built out for kids. There are featured movies, a separate search function, Rotten Tomato scores, and the ability to add titles to your stuff. The entire DreamWorks library is in here, along with lots of TV shows and quality movies for kids to enjoy. So having an updated look at Peacock and its plans, is a paid plan worth it? We think the premium plan for $5 a month is a good option if you love NBC content, but we wouldn't recommend spending $10 a month for Premium Plus. An antenna is a much better way to get your local NBC station. Yeah, unless you live in an area where an antenna won't work. But even then, you have to really love NBC programming to make the $10 price tag worth it. That's our take. But what's yours? Have you tried NBC Premium Plus? What do you think of the interface? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so we can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.